Hey, it's Chrissy here from the Creative Eclectic. Happy Friday! Um, I am just popping on because I had a little bit of a disaster in my, with one of my craft projects today. And I'm sure other people have done this too. Um, so let me show you what happened. Show you. <clears throat> Alright. Now, I was in the middle of putting together a project, and I wonder if you can see what is wrong with this project. Um, I'm hoping you can guess. Okay, so this project this is working is um, oh hi carol how are you you might notice that my words are upside down on my project i don't have another piece of paper i cannot just stick another something else over top of it and i really want to use this paper hope you're going well carol thank you for watching <clears throat> excuse me for being a bit croaky huh I haven't been talking today, so maybe because um, I haven't spoken to anyone at all since 6 o'clock this morning, I might um, be a bit more croaky than normal. All right, so I've got here some dental floss. And you might think, why on earth does Chrissy have dental floss in her craft room. Well, my dentist is really, really generous. And every time I go, he seems to give me a bucket load of dental floss. Um, but we use gentle picks to floss our teeth, but that's more information than you need. So I've got all these things of dental floss. Now I wanted to show you a quick trick. So I'm just gonna tear off a piece of dental floss actually get enough to go around your fingers and what I'm going to do and please let this work I feel really dumb if it doesn't it'll be a second disaster is we're just going to ease that dental floss underneath and it's going to take a little bit of work and what it does is it separates the glue all right let me if anyone else is watching, make sure you say hello. I can see a few people are around, but I am um, just going to keep going. So look, we're just gently easing that dental floss down. And if it's not going, it's not working the way you want it to, just pull it out. So now, now that I've got this, use that dental floss. It's taken the adhesive off. Now, there are other ways. Oh, hi, Megan. There are other ways you could take that off and, and look, it's... So let's um not be so silly and stick it on the right way this time. I'm probably going to need a bit more adhesive. Um, so this was just a really quick tip. I could not believe that I did that. Like, have you done that? Put the... Directional paper on upside down. Hope you're going well, Megan, and having a good Friday. It's nearly the weekend. All right, so I'm just putting that on the, the right way now. So I've double checked. It's the right direction. So now I can just finish my project um, that I was creating today. So, um, I just wanted to show you that tip. Tip. I just think it's a fabulous little tip. Just about every household has got dental floss, and if you don't have dental floss, next time you go to the dentist, go ask the dentist for your complimentary toothbrush and floss, and they'll give it to you. Um, some people like this is really great for when you go to a um craft retreat or something like that and you don't have your hot glue gun because often I will just heat it and the glue will soften but I don't want the other layers to soften either now I don't quite know how I'm going to put this guy on 
Um, it's probably a bit bigger than what I intended. Let's put it over here. There's my little... I tried to put it on the angle, but I just couldn't bring myself to it. <coughs> Thanks, Megan. I, I do sound... I, other than sounding croaky because I haven't spoken to anyone, I, um, I'm okay. I'm just about to head out and do some stuff for our team meeting next week, so I'm really excited about that. So let's just finish off our little project. Um, I've got some of these little dots and I'm just going to pop a few. I don't even know where to put them. I'm going to use them. Actually, no, we won't use that colour. Let's go rogue and use some green because they've got green in the paper. So these, um, the paper and the embellishments I'm using are from the very beginning of the Stamping Up Mini catalog. Um, I love these little, what are they called? They're called iridescent adhesive fact discs. Love them. Anyway. So it, today's Facebook Live is super short. It was really about, all about fixing a really easy fix to fix that paper that I'd put on upside down. Um, it's easy enough to do because I had the card facing the wrong way or something like that. I just wasn't thinking. I was thinking about other stuff rather than crafting. So as I said, grab some dental floss. Um, it, it, ideally it should be waxed. Most dental floss these days is waxed. Oh, this one's even mint flavored. Mm. So my card will smell minty, have minty fresh breath. <laughs> okay. All right. So everyone that's, my quick fix for Friday. So we might call that Friday fix. That's a good name for this segment. Anyway, hope you have a fabulous weekend. I am so looking forward to the weekend, spending some time with my husband and our friends and <clears throat> taking our dogs to dog a palooza, a papa palooza, sorry. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to that. So you have a great weekend. Hope it's fabulous where you are and stay safe and well. And until next time, happy creating. See you on Tuesday night. Bye.